Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, live from Total Value RV, right here in Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world. What we're gonna look at today is a 2019 35.2 Miramar. First of all, we'll start out here in the front. What you'll notice is we've got the nice front cap here for 2019. This is the partial paint option, which is one of the new colors that they're offering this year. You also notice that you have your nice big one piece automotively sealed windshield. So that way when you're out there traveling this great country verse, you're gonna be able to see everything that you want to. You got all of your headlights down here and your fog lights. Then in the front here, you have access to your motor. You just take the key here and open this up and you can get out to change the fluids or whatever it is that you may need to do. So as we come on around this way, you notice we have the chrome mirrors here, which is the high, sitting up high here for you. And then also here on the side, you have your side cameras. So once you turn your turn signal on, now what that'll do is it'll come down here and show you down the side of the coach so that way you can see what's going on. We're on the Ford V10, 22,000 pound chassis with a 22 and a half inch with Alcoa aluminum rims, Michelin tires. So the 22 and a half inch tires will give you a smoother ride as you're going through down the road here. Okay, then we start here in the first compartment back behind. You can see they've redesigned the battery compartments. This way you can have your 212 volt, or if you want to do the 46 volt, you can do that as well too. Here you have your hydraulics for your jacks, which you notice you can get access to everything, so that way if something happens, you're going to be able to get the jacks up and down for you, okay? You notice that it has the slam latch baggage doors here for you too as well. One nice thing I like to point out, it's a little bit different from the competition. If you look here, this is what we call the belt line. What you'll notice is this here is all one level. It's going to allow you to have a little bit more storage room. A lot of the other competition, you'll see a little cutout right here. So you lose about this portion in the storage. As you can see, Thor is taking the time to make it a straight belt line so you can have more storage. You come in here, we got our full pass-through storage, which is all lined in the ABS here with the one-way drains. So that way, if you need to clean it out, you can do that as well, too. You see, this goes all the way through. Here's where your bunk ladder is for when we get inside. And here you have your inverter. On your inverter here, that'll help you if you're dry camping, you're not running your generator, that'll run your refrigerator inside, and it'll also run one of the um, outlets in the bedroom. So if you have a CPAP machine, you'll be able to run it on just the inverter. And again, here we have another full pass-through. Let's see, it goes all the way through. Get your golf clubs, fishing poles, lawn chairs, grills, whatever it may be. Put it all in there. And then here again, we have another full pass-through. So there, just in the front portion, guys, we have three full pass-through storage bays, which what's important when you're traveling? Storage, storage, storage. Unlike location, location, location. Then here we have our water center, as we like to call it. Here you have your whole house fil fil water filtration system right here. Here you have your black well, water flush, so that way you can take your hose in there, open up your black tank, and then you've got little sprayers inside so that way you don't get any false readings. Here's your inlet for your water when you're hooked up to the city water, and here's where you can decide what you want to do. If you're going to winterize it, running off the city water, or if you're running off of your tank as well too. And then here's for your water bypass drain, which is right here for you. There you have your hot water low point drain, and then back in here you have your valves for your poles, for your gray, and for your black tank, which they have access for you, which is gray for the gray and black for the black. Also, another nice thing Thor does for you is anything that you might have to do some work on or whatever it may be, it's all going to be accessible. So right here you've got your water pump right there for you, so if you need to get at it, it's easy to get at. And then your outside shower right here for you as well. Okay, so we're coming on a little bit further to the back. Here we have our other dump for our back black tank. There you have some more low point drains for you right there. Okay. Then here, what you can see, you have your 50 amp cord. And a nice thing they've done for you guys is here it's all marine sealed. Okay, so it's inside the coach, less uh, pr a probability for any critters or anything to get in there. And there you have your access to your uh, cable. And then again, here you have a full pass through for you as well too. So now we have four full pass throughs. This is another new thing for 2019, guys. You have the Gerard tankless hot water heater, so you don't have the six or the 10 gallon. Just go ahead and stay in there as long as you like. You can have as much hot water as you want, okay? So then back here, we have our 5,500 watt Onan generator, which is also Cummins. This opens up a lot more possibilities for you if you ever need any service or whatever it may be. Your generator will run everything on the inside of the coach that you need to run in there for you too as well. Now if you get below a quarter tank, it's not gonna allow you to run your generator so you don't run yourself out of fuel. We get to the back here, you can see you have your back cap here too as well. It's a molded fiberglass, you have your docking lights right there and then also you have your backup camera so when you're backing up you can see what's back here. They've also put the fuel in the back. It's this way conceivably if you get to the truck stops you can fuel from either side then as well, okay? 
8,000 pound hitch in the back with your seven way plug. You have your ladder right here so you can get up on the roof, which it is a TPO roof, which you have a 12 year warranty on that. And you also notice that we have the arch roof too as well. The store likes to say we're getting rid of the dam problem. So your water is not going to dam up up there and just sit up there and have a possibility to maybe cause any problems for you. Okay, so when you get up on your roof, you got to get up there and do your yearly maintenance. Okay? Sounds like my people are calling. Is it you? So you can see back here we have our LP. And then back here in the bottom, you also notice we have the LP gas quick connect. So when you bring your grill along, you can come out and put your grill up here and hook right up to the LP for you. Okay? Here we have the other side of the full pass through. One nice thing you'll notice, guys, on all the awnings, all the slides, I mean, they have the slide topper awnings. So that way when the slide comes out, the awning's going to come out with it. Then you also notice here, in 2019, you've got your awning here, which is the legless awning, so you don't have to worry about running into anything. And then that's kind of a shake awning. So if it shakes twice and you're gone, the awning's automatically going to go back in, which allow it to open up some more. Here we have the full passenger storage right here. We're not full passenger, just another little storage compartment. It's all lighted there. Again, you have your Michelin tires. Here we also have our 100 gallons of fresh water, which is going to be nice if you're out there going out for a while, getting away from everything. Here you got 100 gallons of fresh water, and you also have the bigger drain here as well, too, so that way it'll drain out a lot quicker for you when you're going to winter. Another nice thing they've done for 2019 is you got the outside entertainment center. They went to a 40 inch TV as opposed to a 32 inch TV and you also have a sound bar right here. What you'll notice is you're looking at this coach you might say is there something missing if you've been looking at the Miramar for a while. You'll notice there is no speakers on the outside here. They've done two things. It eliminates them having to cut another hole into the sidewall which could cause any issues and that's why they've done the sound bar right here for you. And this TV will also come out in swivel so that way you can put it either in either direction that you're watching okay and you also notice that it's underneath your awning okay here's the other side of the full pass through okay now we have another full pass through so you can get a lot of stuff in there also if you happen to get in trouble that is heated down there as well too so if you have to sleep down here whatever it may be we'd have to get you a mattress or something but there would be heated for you as well too in worst case scenarios okay and at that point you might get an RV alert over your phone okay and then again here we have a full pass through okay again it's a 35.2 2019 and again here we have our driver's side window which as you can see you get a nice big opening right here and again you have your mirror on the passenger side which you have a side camera so that way when it comes down here turn your turn signal on you can see now what's would going you like to see there. inside the motor home mr cameraman does well let's go ahead well what you'll notice first guys too as well is when you open your door your two steps automatically come out. The nice thing about the two steps, it's not real high in order to walk into the coach, so it's real easy. So you come on in. Notice you got your padded steps right there, so you can put your carpet down, clean the feet. What we wanted to show you too as well, guys, this is what the motor home looks like with the slides in, okay? So as you can see, we've got the slides in. We still have space for seating here. We've got two seat belts there. We've got two seat belts here. We can still get to our dinette. We got two more seat belts back there. So, what's nice about this, guys? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seat belts. And you know what else you can do in this coach? Do you know, Mr. Cameraman? You can sleep eight, too, as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Which we're going to show you later. But as for the tour with the slides in, you can still get to our kitchen sink. We can get to our induction cooktop, our microwave, our residential refrigerator, any of the controls that we need for the motorhome. We can get back here and get to the restroom. We can get all the way back here to the bedroom. So even with the slides in, guys, we can still get to everything. So as we're right here, we'll stop right here, guys. This is kind of your command center right here. I believe Scotty ran it on the Star Trek Enterprise. Okay, so what you want to do, we get to our destination. Okay, we come back here to the back. You'll see this little uh, logo right here. It shows like your slide going out. You just hit that button. It'll ask you to make sure that you're level and you got your generator running. An important thing too as well, guys, when you're running your generator, when you're putting your slides out, what you want to do is you want to have your generator running so that we have full power. It just causes, gives you less problems. Let's put it that way, okay? So you're at full power. Okay, so also here too as well, we got the little icon with the light. Looks like it's got a lot of good ideas right here as well too. And you can turn on all of your lights. You can turn on the bedroom ceiling lights. 
the bath ceiling lights, the vanity light, the main here I'm going to turn on the living lights, the hall light, dinette light, kitchen light, the light by the sofa, your cargo lights, step light, and that's for your awning light, and for your front awning light, okay? So here, so now that we've got the lights on, we come to this little logo here, we're all level, we got our generator running, and okay, we want to put out the driver's side. So you just hit EXT. This is the exciting portion of the show that many, many people love. It's the slide out portion. We normally break to the grass growing channel, uh, but rates get pretty low. So, yeah. so you can see here, you just sort of break it down, we put our slides out. So now we want to do the passenger slide. We extend. So as you can see here, guys, this is the full wall slide. It's kind of exciting that you can do it all right from here. Okay, another thing this is going to do for you too as well is not only make it simpler for you, but it's going to eliminate, eliminate a lot of the wiring in the coach. Okay, so where was most of the problems in the previous motorhomes? In wiring. Okay, so we've taken it out and I believe we've got it down to where we have 30% less wiring throughout the coach. That's 30% less problems we may encounter. Okay, that's pretty good math there. Now we've got our slides out too as well, and we can also put down, you'll see here where it says the front bunk, we can put that down right from here for your extra sleeping space, put your awnings out right here as well too, okay? So in here you also have where you can control all of your generator if you want to do your automatic gen start. Nice thing on the automatic gen start, you can set it for temperature, you can set it for voltage, you can set it for quiet time, you can set it when you want it to start, and how long you want it to run. So say for example if you're out, you got the pets in here, whatever it may be, it gets above a certain degree, you can set it, say, hey, if it gets above 72 degrees, once you kick on the generator, turn the airs on, cool it down. You can control that all right from here. I already showed you the lighting. Here's where we can do our temperature, if we want to do the front air or the rear air, turn the furnace on and everything right from here. Here's where you can control your kitchen. You got your kitchen fan right here. Okay, so if you want to open the fan, you can do it right here. And then also in the mid bath, you can do it right there. We went over the slides there. And then here you just have your general settings in for you as well too, okay? So, as you can see, we've got the slides open. Now look how much more room we have here. So we've got plenty of space to entertain guests, do whatever it is that we want to do right in here. So Mr. Cameraman, come on up front here. Let's show them the front of the coach, and then we'll kind of walk our way back. So you can see you come in, you have a seat right there, okay? As you can see in 2019, they went to the newer colors for the seats. Both of these seats will turn around and make part of the living area. And then right here, you'll see this is where you can set a table. It comes with it. Uh, you have your leg, and then you have a round table right here. So you can sit and then make this all part of the living area. So once you're in the coach, you look to your left. Of course, you've got your window right here, too, as well. Then here you have for your mirror heat, and you control your power mirrors, which you can do the left or the right. you got the cup holder right there. Then also you can see you have your automatic leveling system. Where all you do is you turn that on, hit auto, and it'll automatically level the coach out for you. So that way you're all done then. Okay? And you also have your emergency start. Emergency start is if you get in a situation where you're, you're low for your chassis battery or your house battery, that'll combine the house and the chassis battery together for you. Okay? And you have your lighting right there. You can see the new dash. I kind of like the new look right here for you as well too. Kind of more of a cockpit type look. You can also see you have the larger backup monitor right there as well. Okay? So we'll come back here on your Ford V10. You also have the, kind of the smart wheel here as well, too. Okay, so you can set your cruise control right there. You have your turn signals right there in order to clean your windshields right there. All of your automotive gauges there. But one thing I want to show you that's kind of unique and only at Total Value RV. When you're out shopping around, you're looking for the 35.2 Miramar. Why well, do I want to say it to your salesperson? Hey, may I ask you a question? Where is that Miramar with the 55 miles on it? Huh. There'll probably be some awkward silence. There'll probably be some different moments of just looking around. The answer is Total Value RV. That's an exclusive. Why is that important? You're the first person to put the first critical miles on the coach, not somebody who gets paid to get from here, the RV capital of the world where we are, to wherever it may be. Okay? So just a nice little thing. Mr. Cameraman always likes to point that out. The other thing you might have noticed is the 65 degrees. 
we'd like it a little bit warmer. But anyway, the gauge here does tell you the outside temperature. Okay, so when we come on around here, you got your uh, cab lights right there. You can turn your dash fans, start your generator right here, which you can turn off and on from here. Or you can remember you can do it back at your panel. Here you have for your docking lights, and here you have for the nightshade. Okay, you get your destination. You just push this down here. And then you have your privacy. If you have the key in like we do right now, it's only going to go down that far. And then if not, it'll go all the way down to the bottom. Then on the side here, you also have your pull-down shades up here on the driver's side. And you also have them on the passenger side. Another new thing they've done for 2019, may seem small, but look at this, guys. What will this handle now? Your taller cups. Okay? So that way you can put in your taller cups in there. Also, the water bottles will fit in there. A little place to set your keys and your knickknacks. And again, you have your monitor right here which is your backup monitor on there and you can also do a lot of your other screens there as well too okay so here also while you're in the front you have a nice little computer workstation right here but you have your plugins down here here you also have a cup holder on this side and you also have your speaker here as well for you okay and you also have a nice little window right here and again you have your pull down shade okay also up front here nice thing in motorhomes is the storage you got storage up here you can put some knickknacks storage here and you also have storage here as well too. This here also, guys, is your control for the bed system for the Schwinn Tech slide system in here. If something happens, it'll blink some signals, tell you what it might be wrong, and then you can fix it there for you too as well, or you can just undo it so that way you can get it back up. Okay. So and here again, one thing I wanted to show you with the new Firefly system. Here you have some controls. Remember what we could do back there? Here you can also control your dinette, overhead light, the living room ceiling light, sofa light, the hall light. Also here too as well, you want to put your TV up. Just hit this button. Want to have a little fun with the kids maybe, maybe hide the control. Say, hey, want to see some magic? TV up. And then push your control. It's a little bit more entertainment family time for the kids as well too, okay? So we've got our TV up. You can also see so there is a great viewing area. Here you also have your two theater seats right there with the cup holders in them as well too for good viewing area. Okay. And then also you might say, hey, how do we put the bunk up and down? Well, again, look at this. Okay. So hey, kids, what we're going to do here is perform a little magic. Ready? Bunk down. Oh, the amazement, the look on her face, the smiles, the happiness. That's what it's all about, guys. Family time. Family. So, this comes down here. Another nice thing you'll notice, guys, is this can hold up to 500 pounds, so two adults could sleep on this. It's got its memory foam mattress right in here. And you remember the ladder that we saw underneath on the outside? That's what hooks right up here, so you can get up on there. Okay, so we came around here. Here we have a height of bed. We got a two seat sofa right here for us as well. Okay. So that way this will also fold down and make a bed for you. Again, you remember the theater seats that we had. Remember we were looking outside at the windows, how they can open up. So as you can see here, the windows will open up that way. Turn on your fan and it'll help circulate the air throughout the whole coach for you to keep it cool. You got two lights right here. You have some speakers right here. Up top here, you also have some storage. With the hidden hinges, you can see. This is all the solid wood, which is the glazed wood. It's the same wood that they use in their high-end Tuscanies. So they're not taking out anything there. And then you can also see here, again, we have our pull-down shade right there. Okay, it's the night shade. And you have it around every window then for you as well, too. Here also, you have your dinette. Another nice thing that I like about this is if you look here, it has the cushions right here. So if you're at the end of the day, just relax and have a nice conversation with everybody. You kind of sit back and just relax. You also notice it's a nice big table. And again, we have the two seat belts here. You have the window right here. Another nice thing, Total Value, or Thor, it's available at Total Value RV, is done for you, is we have the Wi Fi Ranger. So, what that'll do for you is if you're at the campground or wherever it may be and you want to boost the signal, the free Wi Fi, wherever it is, turn that on. That's going to help boost the signal for you. Okay? This dinette will also come down and make it into a bed for you as well. You can see that we have the linoleum all the way throughout the coach so it's going to be very easy for you to clean very easy to maintain and take care of we come back in here to the kitchen you can see here we have some nice big storage in there be a good place for a trash can or whatever it may be access on both sides here you have some nice drawers all on the ball bearing drawer glides so that way it's going to go in and out for you very smoothly 
Here's for your whole house water filtration system you have right there, some chemicals for the toilet. You have another drawer there. You have a drawer here. You open up here, you have another drawer there within a shelf, which is adjustable for you too as well. Okay? So, then we have these cabinets as well, with an adjustable shelf. Big cabinet there. So just in kind of your kitchen area, let's look. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, and I know people love this. Let's see what's more. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 doors and drawers and look how deep that is as well too guys so that way you're going to get some good stuff in there give you an idea i mean that's pretty deep okay also you got your soft touch padded vinyl ceiling so it's going to be very easy to maintain oh well one more so we gotta add one more so i forgot what the count was but add one more okay so there you go so look guys you have plenty of places to store stuff when you're out seeing this great country of ours okay come back in here again we have our kitchen sink What's nice about that, guys, is you have two big bowls in here, too, as well. Stainless steel, very easy to take care of. High-rise residential faucet with the pull-out sprayer right there. And again, the solid surface countertop is here. You come over here, you have the two induction cooktops here, too, as well, for you. So it'll heat up the food real quick for you. You have your convection microwave. So this will also do your baking. It'll do the microwave. It'll do everything you can do. It makes it a lot easier. Here's another one of the controls. You can control the stuff back in here. And again, we mentioned the residential refrigerator. You're taking the whole family out, you might as well have enough to get, feed them, right? So that's why you have a residential refrigerator. You got the ice maker right there, too, as well. Save you a little money as far as buying ice. And here you have a pantry. You have two big shelves. And then you have two pull out drawers there as well, too. So we have more storage for you. Okay? Another nice thing they've done for 2019. Here as well too, this is solar prepped. So we've got the gate, uh, the controller is right here. It's prepped on the roof, so if you want to get a 100 watt solar panel, you can do that right there for you too as well. And then this is for your inverter for all the readings you're going to do right there. Okay, so now we're back to the bath area. As you can see, we've got our porcelain toilet right here. you got plenty of room to do whatever it may be. you got some place to put some storage right here. Some storage here. you got your nice big medicine cabinet. Again, you have the stainless steel sink in the bathroom. Here's for your Gerard hot water heater for your controls. You got two plugs in here as well, too. And then you have some more storage right down here. Okay, another nice thing I like that they've done in 2019. See that? Smell that? Of course you don't. It's got the 360 siphon vent in it, so it's going to help take all the odors out of the bathroom for you. And again, you have the fan right here. Okay, you have a nice big walk-in shower. You have a shower glass shower door, which will lock into place for you. So plenty of room to get the skylight right in there for you as well too. Okay, so we come back in here. Here, guys, you have a nice big closet. You can use it as either a closet or if you want, this here will fit the stackable washer and dryer in it. So you can put the washer and dryer right there. And then here you have a nice little mirror. Make sure you look good before you go out. Usually it's bad for me, so my wife says do something. So come on around. Nice thing here too into the bedroom. You got the door right here which will lock into place for you so that way if you got company. In the 35.2 as well, we give you the king bed, which does have the tilt bed here. So if you still want to come back here, maybe watch a movie, wherever it may be, you can do it right there. And you got the pillows, you got the lights right there. You also have a drawer right there. You have a nice little shirt closet right here. Some more storage here. A couple more doors there. Also, the mattress, guys, is a Denver mattress. So when you're going at home, you might as well have a good mattress. I'm sure you got one at home. You want to take one with you on the road as well, too. Two more doors, doors there, two more there, and then you also have another shirt closet here. You also notice you have nightstands on either side, but you do have the plug-ins. One of the plugs as well, too, will run off of your inverter, so if you're dry camping and you've got a CPAP machine, you can still plug it in back there. Okay, so here we have some storage here. This is the table that goes up front, where that, that uh, pole was up front there. And then you have some more hanging space here. Where are we gonna put everything? Door there. Think of everything. It's more there. So in the bedroom, guys, when you're out, 
again, storage. What do you want to do? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty doors and drawers for places for you to put stuff. So you got plenty of room. My cameraman is also pointing out another one underneath the bed. So look at that guy, storage, storage, storage. You're gonna be able to take everything with you when you're out seeing everything. So guys, we've looked at the 2019 Miramar 35.2. You might have a couple of questions. Who are we? Well, we're Total Value RV, okay? You might want to ask, well, where are you? Well, we're in Elkhart, Indiana. How do you get here? Well, if you're coming on the toll road, you get off exit 92, come to the first light, you take a right, you go to the next light, you take another right, go through the four-way stop, and take another right, and then you're at Total Value RV. So again, three right turns in order to make the right decision. And it works out. Okay, then you say, how do we get a hold of you? Well, we have a telephone, 866-282-4460. We also have email, which is at TotalValueRV.com. You can email us any questions or whatever it may be. Okay, so there we have the internet, we have the phone. We have all kinds of ways to get a hold of us. So, guys, come out and see us. We've got three of these 35.2s in stock. We're going to give you a great value. We're also, what else are we going to give you that nobody else in the country can? I was just trying to make sure you were paying attention. 55 miles on a 2019 35.2. Guys, if you're still here, I appreciate you watching the video. And at Total Value RV, it's where you come in as a stranger and you leave as a friend.